Hello, welcome to another one of our Dr. Foot videos. I wanted to make a short video about a couple of exercises that I tell my patients to do to try and strengthen their uh, ligaments and muscles and structures around the ankle complex. So if you've been getting ankle sprains, these set of exercises may be very useful for you. So the first thing I tell my patients is, can you stand on one foot? Now you should be able to stand on one foot for about 30 seconds without having to put your foot down. After that, I tell my patients, can you stand on one foot and close your eyes? Now, when you're standing on one foot and closing your eyes, it is a struggle to try and get your sense of balance and your proper reception. So this is a good exercise to do, and as you can see, it's, it can be quite challenging. The next exercise I tell patients is, can you do a star excursion exercise? Now, if, if you can imagine you've got a big uh, watch around you, I tell the patient to stand on one foot and lean forward to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, which can be quite tricky, uh, 10 o'clock and, and back to 12 o'clock. So, a whole 12 uh, reps. Now, if, if a patient is unable to really stand on one leg, they're going to struggle to do that, which is why you need to have a progressive rehab program. If the patient can't do this while keeping their foot in the air, then I often tell patients, I'll just come back a little bit, that put your foot down and come back up, then go to one o'clock, put your foot down, come back up, try not to let your knee go in. As you can see, look, when I'm doing it, it's hard because I'm focusing on the camera to keep a good form. But the idea is to try and keep some stability around the ankle. After you've done that, I get this foam pad. This is a little foam pad that I get patients to buy from Amazon. It's really cool. It only costs a couple of quid. Get the patient to stand on this. Now, when you stand on this, it's almost like you're standing on sand. Uh, on a beach or some cobbled pavement because when you start doing that exercise now it's very difficult so I'm really struggling now to do this and it can be quite a struggle this also works your hip muscles so um, if you're getting too much knee valgus, if, if your knee's going in too much like mine is, then I need to work a bit more on my hip muscles. So I, I get the patient to progress onto this foam pad. After that, I get the patient to move over to a wobble board. This is a wobble board. Now, I am generally not a fan of wobble boards, I have to admit. It's not something I like to tell my patients to do. And generally because I think it's quite difficult and only, only some of my patients that are marathon runners, that are athletes, elite athletes, footballers, I get them to use a wobble board. But generally speaking, my everyday patients that are not athletes, I don't get them to use the wobble board. So initially, which you're going to find out I struggle with a wobble board too, I get the patient just to stand on it like this. If you can stand on a wobble board and you can move around, and you can develop some stability around it. After you can do that, you can then do that same exercise, that start excursion exercise, while standing on the wobble board. This will be fun because I struggle to do this myself. So let's have a go. It is, I'm really having to work my ankle right now, trying to keep my stability. It's important that a patient progresses through these stages and doesn't straight away go to something quite advanced. Oftentimes, when a patient has injured their ankle, I won't be asking them to do anything while standing. It'll be seated, using a TheraBand, doing some basic exercises, maybe even underwater. I get them to move over to these dynamic exercises that really test the patient a bit further on in their rehab. I hope you found this interesting and I shall speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.